this is Chris about to go train over at Metro Flex in a little bit um, I'll probably film a workout and show you guys what's up been thinking about a lot of things as far as life and what's hard and what's easy and I think that we all tend to strive to go toward the things that we're good at um, for instance uh, you know I mentioned this in a previous video I tended toward lifting weights because I was good at it. It was one of the few things that I was ever naturally good at in my life and um, you know this whole fitness thing and um, you know getting into the iron and loving it and um, kind of enjoying um, the growth that occurs and it's an awesome feeling and, and I'm not saying that anybody shouldn't get into this but there's an expense of going into something that's easy for you that you're good at and then leaving other things behind and so um, you know when I talk about playing chess and not checkers um, I mean that <clears throat> a lot of times when you go into something you're at a disadvantage you are a beginner you're a baby you're a child and you have to consider what's going to take you from being a child to being a full-grown adult and then eventually to being a monster uh, and a lion in the jungle of that field being somebody who's respected somebody who is um, good somebody who is looked up to by others and so I think when I get a lot of emails and when I get a lot of questions from people I really do appreciate those and I appreciate the respect they're giving me. What I try to instill and what I try to tell people is that you really have to look at this as a climb. You really have to look at this as something that's going to come a little bit every day. You know, I'm, I've been doing this since I've been 12 years old and a lot of you see me and you know, I think I have a good physique, but I don't have the best physique in the world. And I might never have the best physique in the world. I probably won't have the best physique in the world. But that's not the point for me. The point for me is being able to get in there and do something that I enjoy. And to be able to get in there and, and do something that makes me feel human, that makes me feel present, that makes me feel like I actually have a purpose on this earth. That's why I do what I do, and that's why I enjoy training so much, and that's why I enjoy training others. The problem for me has been that I've often neglected things that I wasn't good at, and, um, you know, like cardio, um, at the expense of really, you know, not taking care of my blood pressure, not taking care of my lungs, not taking care of the things that are going to keep me living here on this earth for a longer period of time. Um, and that comes with a price. That comes with the price of not being prepared. That comes with the price of, you know, uh, God forbid if anything happened like a natural disaster or anything like that, who the hell am I going to save if I can't breathe? And so that's why I've been working on it. Um, that's not to say that I don't like muscle, that I don't like being strong. That's to say that I want to be more well-rounded. Um, for those of you who are not naturally good at lifting, for those of you who are not naturally good at putting on muscle, what I have to tell you is that you need to accept that you're not good at it. You need to accept that it's something that's going to take a very long time to build. And you have to keep working at it if it's what you want. It's not going to come overnight. It's not going to come tomorrow. It's not going to come next week. It's going to come after years of hard work. It's going to come after years of putting the time in, making mistakes, um, you know, doing things that um, you know you might look back on five years from now and laugh because I look back on things I did when I was 12 13 14 15 even 20 years old and I laugh I laugh at what I used to do and uh, it's a constant learning experience there is no simple genetic freak out there um, that's gonna get everything that they need to get in order to have the perfect body um, without putting the work in. Even Phil Heath has to put the work in. Even Kai Green has to put the work in. You have to put the work in. You have to bear the responsibility 
of accepting your dream. Bear the responsibility of accepting that challenge that you put forth for yourself and work at it. That's the simplest answer I can give anybody to ask me the secret of putting on muscle and putting on size. Um, of course, there's nutrition, of course, there's training, but without that heart, that desire to keep going, you're not going to get anywhere. So that's my two cents for the day. I'll probably film this workout over here at Metroflex Gym, and you'll see that in a later video. Peace.